All right, yesterday we brought to you the first part of a series on the world's most powerful space telescope, 10 million US dollar James Webb telescope that was launched on the 25th of December 2021. And Kenya would join in the celebrations after a signal was picked up by a ground antenna at a space center in Malindi. And we asked the question, how does Kenya benefit from the space center? Our reporter once again, Sarafina Robi, traveled to Malindi and filed the following report. Here now is part two of the day or two-day series. 79 Kenyans work at the space center. So far, the center has had 17 space projects since inception. We did almost 17 launches. They were all successful in collaboration with uh, uh, USA. The most recent being able to participate in the launch of the James Webb Telescope, where the world will look up to the Malindi station for telemetry and tracking of the telescope upon being launched. First phase for one hour, 15 minutes, was only Malindi visible to this James Webb. No other station in the world was visible. This is was a crucial role of Malindi. Otherwise, uh, the world with the mission control was following this will be blind. The acting director general of Kenya Space Agency, Hilary Kipkosgai, tells of a new era as more Kenyans continue to venture into space exploration. We are currently reviewing the Kenya space policy and in tandem with development of uh, a zero draft uh, space legislation. Led by the head of the station, Mokhal Jeja, scientists who man the day-to-day -day operations of the Malindi Bay Space Station were present during the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. Imagine when I see the first signal here, I just uh, uh, make a photo and tweet it and uh, all over the world it just uh, took this new one. So. The same real time, the end user is receiving as I'm receiving. But immediately after the loss of the spacecraft or the loss of signal, there will be another report that will be sent to the end user. From this PCTMV, we are sending the video via this, uh, it's called, they call it the valise, but it's, it's just like a normal server to French Guiana. Actually, the one that, that is on YouTube was coming directly from here because we were sending to them and they download immediately on, uh, on YouTube. Information which we get from here, the astronomical data, is that uh, the satellites are not looking onto the Earth, it's uh, looking deep in the sky. What of its lifetime? Nominally, they said 10 years. But you know, in our space missions, uh, a, a Hubble was not designed for to, to stay 25 years. Uh, but it's still working there. The data collected in this project will be open for use by Kenyans and all scientists across the world. All scientific uh, missions, uh, uh, all data coming from this scientific mission is for free. Nobody at the world should pay as an example. Well, given that the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope that was launched are expected in six months, the wave of excitement that took over the country after the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope that a signal had been detected from here at the Malindi Base Space Station continues, given that this signal was used for tracking and telemetry purposes. And this satellite behind me, which is the Malindi 2A, is what contributed or helped in the detection of the signal. Serafina Roby for Prime Edition.